Hello, gorgeous people. Just here and I am traveling currently for a work trip and uh, I need to get some gas for the car and stretch my legs before I finish off this drive to San Antonio. But first I must stop at the beaver headquarter. Yes, the Texas Colt ruled by this beaver named Bucky's. And uh, the only thing I have to say is that they got really good bathrooms. Jazz likes their uh, quote unquote beaver nuggets. But uh, yeah, I'm at the Colt known as Bucky's. Beaver worshiping people, they're all here. And uh, as soon as I pump gas for the car, we'll go in and we'll check it out a little bit. See what this thing is really about. Alright, let's go get snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks. Alright. Alright, so when in Bucky's, you can get beaver merch. And uh, yeah, it is literally everywhere. Wrapping paper, gift bags, color the beaver. Beaver onesies, beaver bucket hats, beaver hats, beaver shot glasses. Listen guys, when I told you this was a cult, it was a cult. Kiddo clothes. You can even get yourself a Bucky's bathing suit. Alright, I'm gonna go get snacks now. So I grabbed a bottle of water, Sani, and then some milk chocolate almonds. Uh, all of this was uh, $3.89, so about $4. Bucks. Um, Jazz isn't here, so I'm not grabbing any of the uh, beaver nugs. So we're going to give these a try. Uh, you can't go wrong with almonds covered in milk chocolate. Obviously, this is a Bucky's brand. Uh, bathrooms are clean sparkling they were actually uh cleaning them as it's going in there's probably about 30 bathrooms in there so definitely a must uh if you want good bathroom quality um however don't be drawn in by the be the beaver cult as you can see um that i shown you guys you can uh get beaver onesies a little extreme but you know tomato tomato so now back on the road a few hours away from san antonio and then I'll be there, take you guys around to my favorite spots. Okay guys, I have made it to my hotel in San Antonio. Uh, I'm staying at the Comfort Inn and Suites. Um, it's a real nice hotel and I wanna show you the room I got. Um, I let them pick for me um, company wise. Um, this is what I got. And it, it's pretty big, a little echoey because it's just me right now, uh, and it's only going to be me, so I get all this space, but, uh, all right, so when you enter the room, the bathroom is on your right, and, uh, creaky door. Alright, 
big mirror. And then it also comes with um, Rayo, which is their brand. So you got uh, soap, conditioner, shampoo, makeup remover, towels, hair dryer, extra toilet paper, very Texas artwork, blue bonnets, and a lake. Shower is your big rainfall style shower. Tub, so if you had kiddos, this would be good for you. <laughs> Squeaky door. And then a head to toe mirror for you to check your fit before you leave. Uh, and then behind me whoosh, is a microwave, um, coffee Keurig maker. I think it's a Keurig. I have no idea. I don't drink coffee, so this would be like Jazz's forte. Um, ice bucket, of course, these are my chips and my Yeti. Um, and then a fridge, which I have already stocked with my snacks for the week. Um, big old desk, big old desk. USB charger, you. Bright lamp, also more USB charger. And then there's a whole sitting area right over here. More Texas artwork. And then of course, uh, TVs right there as well. Lots of storage. These are all big storage. Place for you to put your shoes or throw your luggage on and flip through your clothes for the day. But I got two queen size beds in this room, so four. Um, I don't know if the couch is a pullout. Yep, couch is a pullout. So this room could sleep five, six people. Some more Texas artwork. And then unit, but it's controlled by the thermostat, which is way over there. And then over here, you got plugs, normal alarm clock, phone, um, reading lamp lights. This one is out, obviously. Your flips, and then uh, the window. There's nothing out there. It's a uh, an empty parking lot and a giant field. Um, I think this room would be an adjoining suite door. But uh, yeah, that's my room for my work trip. Uh, hopefully um, tomorrow we get out of what we're doing a little early so I can take you guys around. Um, tonight, dinner's gonna be super short and sweet. I'm going to Shake Shack, uh, be jealous, Jazz. Um, we don't have a Shake Shack where we're at currently, so it's kind of like a treat. So I'm going to go there, but you guys are going to come with. Um, it's nothing too fancy. Um, tomorrow night is uh, the more fancier style dinner. Um, and hopefully I get out early so I can take you around and show you a couple of other different things um, that I enjoy about San Antonio. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait till me and Jazz come. But uh, yeah, let's go get dinner, shall we? Okay, okay, I made it to Shake Shack. Man, they got a good burger, they got a good shake. Their fries, they're all right, they're crinkle cut. But uh, yeah, big city living right now. I miss like big metroplexes like this. This is what I really miss. Uh, and if I really wanted to, there's a Target over there. There's a Chipotle, aka Chipotle. There's a Taco Cabana. There's a Pollo Loco. Um, but we are here for Shake Shack. So uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys. I got me some crinkle cut cheese fries. And then. This is a smokestack. It's got 
applewood bacon, cherry peppers, cheese, and I made it a double because I'm a fatty. And I'm sitting outside. Okay, I got an Oreo shake from Shake Shack. It only makes sense. And now I'm gonna head out back to my room for some relaxation. So here we go. Okay guys, so I put my straw in my shake and I immediately went to go take a sip before I drove off. It's so thick, it like bends the straw. It bends the straw. I don't know, it'll get there. It'll get there. Hopefully it melts a little bit by the time I get back to the room. Cause this is like the best shake at Shake Shack. If you disagree, you're wrong, okay? You're just wrong. Go to Shake Shack, try it. It's the best. You won't regret it. Maybe in a little bit, after you digest it, you could regret it, but honestly, it's so good. Try it, try it. Okay, it's the next day. I'm out of work and I'm gonna work out. So I'm gonna show you guys the gym real quick where I worked out this morning and now I'm doing my second workout of the day so you guys can uh, get an idea. So hold on, let me flip you around. Okay, I'm in the gym. It's kind of small, but it has what I need. I ran this morning and then like right out that door is the pool and everything. I'll show you guys that, but the hours are six to nine. Um, I worked out so long that I didn't get to grab breakfast. So tomorrow morning I'll show you guys breakfast and everything, but yeah, uh, this is gym six to nine. Um, have to be 16 or over to be in here by yourself. No eating, drinking, or horse playing around. I'm drinking Gatorade or water. I think that's fine. They have your towels and everything like that. Water, trash can for you to clean up after yourself. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do some weights real quick. So uh, hang tight and then we'll go on a much cooler adventure than what we did last night. Okay guys, so it's under construction, but this is the market. I'm gonna go down there and eat. So there's a parking garage, it's $10 uh, to park. You pay at the end. And then you can just walk down. We do have shops. that aren't open at the moment. Cause the clothes is sick. So yeah, I uh, just barely missed the shops. Here, I'll show you guys a map of downtown. But all right, let's uh, let's go check this place out. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. El Mercado, and that is me, Tieta. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm waiting on some friends to show up, so yeah, until then I'm gonna go explore.
Okay guys, so I am back from Mi Tierra Cafe. I didn't film too much in there, um, just because I was eating with a friend and was just enjoying company and everything like that. Um, but I took a picture of my food, um, which was the Mexican uh, fajita platter. Um, it was delicious. I ate it all, except for the green stuff. I don't do guacamole. Not my thing. Uh, but yeah, it was delicious, um, atmosphere is always great in there, and then on my way out, I stopped at the bakery, um, so this is what I got, let me show you guys. Okay, so I got a guava empanada, Jazz's favorite flavor is guava, so I thought, uh, since she can't be here, I will eat the guava empanada and have her watch me as she edits this film. Sorry, Jazz. But yeah, this is Jazz's favorite, as I was saying, so I'm going to eat it, and she gets to watch me. And then the other thing we got, we, I, me, I am one person, but they gave me like two forks, like two people were going to eat this. I got a tres leches cake, and I don't typically do cakes, but I will do tres leches. Um, I just got the plain normal one. They had an Oreo one, um, but yeah, look, look at this, look at this, spongy. All right, let's eat it real quick. All right, so check. Mm. Yeah. That's a big bite. That's a big bite. Oh, and you see the three milks down in there? Oh. Mm hmm If you've never had tres leches, give it a try before you knock it. I don't eat cake. It's the only cake I'll eat. Let me show you what, what's in there. Remember, three milks. So, uh, don't be surprised when you see what's in here. Look at it. I should have got a spoon. They should have given me a spoon. Oh, but it's so good. Look at that. It's just so good. Okay, one more bite. I'm going to imp out of time. Mm-hmm. All right. I have my water like over there, so no how a palate comes in. Just, just bite it in the middle. Mm-hmm. Oh. I am dip. <clears throat> Dip the empanada in the tree's milk. Tree milk. Tress milk. Trees is tress. Tress trees. Oh. That's where it's at. Mm-hmm. Jazz, you're missing out on this guava. Maybe when we come down in a couple weeks, I'll stop and let you get some. Because this is good. But yeah, delicious food from the bakery. I ate all my dinner except the guacamole. It was a great day. Um, food wise, yesterday was even good with my milkshake, my uh, smokestack, burger from Shake Shack, cheesy fries. Um, this video has been food related and uh, I think everyone can relate to food. Um, so tomorrow, um, game plan is to go immediately out and about as soon as I am done with work to show you guys around. 
um, a little bit of San Antonio, um, some shops and everything like that so that they don't close because most shops around here close at like six or seven because um, they have families. And uh, yeah, take you guys around. I think I'm gonna hit up the Pearl District because they do some cool stuff on Thursday nights. Um, but yeah, the world is at my fingertips. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video over the past two days with me traveling um, and showing you food and things like that. Uh, more to come, at least in tomorrow's video. And I will be seeing you guys around. Take care and uh, catch you on the flip side.